Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster. In case you're wondering, where the hell's the campaign? Don't worry, I have a second video coming today, up in a few hours. First though, Taskmaster. This one was created by Spartan Elite himself. We've received intelligence that our enemy has been building mass quantities of torpedo boats and plans on using them to swarm our capital ships. We must build a battleship capable of fending off the torpedo boat swarm tactic. Our fleet? A simple one battleship. You can get 1905 as your tech year, and you can pick whatever nation you see fit. The enemy will be 199 torpedo boats from the 1890s in the command of the British Empire. It is fairly simple, scoring one point per enemy sunk. The tiebreaker is the fastest to sink everyone, but here is the twist. When you encounter the enemy, you must stop, turn full broadside, and you cannot move at all. You cannot turn, you cannot change your direction, nothing. You're just going to sit there. So designing your ship is going to be critical in this task. Now I believe the enemy torpedo boats are going to have fairly poor range. That means I have some opportunities to, um, to take them out before they get to me. Since I'm not going to be going anywhere fast, I might as well cut the speed, increase the displacement. I was kind of hoping to go for a battleship. Yeah, like the, the French hotels. But I guess they're already too advanced. What if I go for a fairly small main gun? Because the main guns are not going to carry me here. It's going to be the secondaries. Yeah, okay, that's the plan. We're going to go for no range, no speed, maximum bulkheads, um, increasing your beam... Less maneuverable, larger, larger targets, that's fine. Um, increasing draft, resistance against flooding. And I don't really care about what sort of propulsion I have, because I'm not going to go anywhere fast anyway. The only reason why I'm looking into this is because it might be a little lighter. Yeah. Uh, Ox 1, steering is largely useless. Armor much torpedo protection as I can get, which is anti-torp 2 in this era. Wow, Citadel 2. Look at that. Anti-flood 2 and reinforced bulkheads 1. Okay then. Main tower. Um, everything that benefits base accuracy is good. 6.5 and, and it's going to get a lot worse from there. Hold on. This is 6.5. We also got the 9.5 from the small advanced tower 2. This is the advanced tower 4. Focus more on long-range accuracy by 13, and this is by 10. That's a nice and sleek tower. Very nice. Secondary tower. Base accuracy again. 10, 7 and a half. Uh, 6. Yeah, this one just gets worse. Rear tower, there. Okay. As I was saying, main guns, really small. They are Mark 3s, that's quite nice. I just don't think that their reload's quite going to cut it. So, single gun there. Uh, we need a funnel, probably something minuscule. Okay, something maybe slightly less minuscule. That's... I need three funnels if I want to get to 100% engine efficiency, which I don't really care about. Not enough, not enough. What's my engine or my smoke interference? Whoa, that's not great. What if we just run a very inefficient engine? 27%, I don't want any smoke interference, I want maximum accuracy. Is it possible to put a gun up here? No, it is not. Okay, we're gonna put the, the gun on a barbette. He said enthusiastically and then found out that that is not a thing. What? Tell me. No. The reason why I want to put it on a barbette is to make sure that I have the room over here to put all sorts of extra guns. Uh, what if I just go like that? Then I have at least adhered to, you gotta have two guns. Okay. Best reload, best turret rotation speed. Um, better high explosive chance, 
Also a fairly high chance to blow yourselves up. Ah, maybe more shell jammers. TNT. Okay. Now, I know that these destroyers... Sorry, um, torpedo boats don't have any kind of protection. So it's not like they're going to need a ton of armor. These boats. But just enough so they don't get destroyed. Secondary guns. How about just a mass, mass, mass row of two inchers? This is Mark II. Everything is Mark II. If, if I'm going to play it like this, I'm going to do something like that. Increase their barrel length by 20%. 10%. Okay, fine. Um, with the, these things, you can decrease it. Yeah, why not? 1.1 inch guns. Reload 5.4 seconds. Accuracy on 2,500 meters is 5%. If I would go to plus 9. Accuracy is 10%. Reload 7.3 seconds. So 7.3 seconds or 5.4. Damage 7.8 or 15. So your damage doubles, your reload is increasing slightly. We're going to go with this. We're going to go with a lot of this. What is your problem? I really don't want to sit there. Um, this is not nearly as many guns as I was expecting, actually. I mean, I got 18,000 tons out of 30,000 tons. I can go a lot bigger than this. I don't have any casemates. Can I put anything here? Sure, I can. Just there? Wow, not here? What's all this room for, then? Oh, normally it's because you put side-mounted turrets here, and that way you can still shoot out the front. That's probably the deal here. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's the only spot where you can put a barbette. Fine. Um, if I push this tower like... Here. Put this funnel over there. That at least takes some pressure off of the bow. Can I put a barbette there? No. No. Okay. You're gonna go slightly forward. Go on. What? There. There has to be a spot where this barbette can sit. What? Why are these floating? I increased the draft, not, not removed it. Sit. Is this going to work? No, oh, this hull's bugged. Lovely. Okay. I guess that they still have to fix that. Hmm. I could put a gun over there, but it'll do absolutely nothing. I cannot put... Oh, I can put my bets here. Just that the standard points where they're supposed to connect, those don't work. Okay, so I can put additional guns like over there and over there. Four weight offset is still a problem. Hmm... What's the difference between dual barrel and single barrel? A single barrel has less range? Would you like to run that by me? This is weird. Why do you have less range? Is that because you're like a very old model? Five and a half kilometer range, seven and a half kilometer range. Reload, five seconds. Hmm. So now we can put out quite a bit of fire. Uh, we carry 1,431 shells per turret. Should be enough to stick around for a while. Uh, 
I'd love to add more guns here, but the game's not letting me. Can I put small single barrel-ish? No? Okay. What if I just remove these? Come on. Yeah, that's the dead zone. So that would give me four guns versus just a lot more guns. Yeah, the dual barrels is definitely where it's at. Single barrels would be fun. It's just not very efficient, and I would like to win. Can I put the single barrels... Not even there? Oh, because those things are still too tall. Okay, fine. The whole hull's a bit bugged. Sadly. Yeah, you cannot put them there either. Good lord. Why is the game being such a party pooper? Here we go. <laughs> I could put guns there. Brings additional uh, 2800 rounds of ammo. They won't shoot, but that's fine. I think that's about all the spots I can use. Uh... Hold on. What if I remove this, take this, and put this there? Yeah, none of the guns are enjoying that. Okay. So that's unfortunately not quite an option. Because the game goes, nope, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Otherwise, all of those secondaries will not turn. We're going to have to go with at least two main guns. And the game means two main turrets, not two main guns, strictly. It says I have casemates? Where? Oh, here! Hey, if it says I can place guns, I'm going to place guns. Increase the barrel length by 10%. And increase the diameter. This gives these guys a range of 6.7 and a reload of only 2.9 seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I think we have our ship. I don't know what to do with 10,000 tons of displacement. I could put armor on it, but that generally doesn't do much. Not against torpedoes. Get induced boilers, smoke interference is still nothing. Uh, four weight offset needs to get addressed though. Otherwise, I'm going to have issues. 20, that's a bit much. 10, 12, a bit more. Pitch is a bit high. A bit higher than I would like. Minus 6% base accuracy. If I reduce that, it's not really going to do that much. Let's optimize for four rate offset. Okay, there we go. That's uh, 6,000 tons spare, so let's just give them additional crew for no particular reason. And uh, let's go engage. 99 different torpedo boats. Check, check. I could increase the barrel length here, but whatever. No, I'm going to saw them off. Minus 20%. Sh saw off shotguns. These will absolutely not hit anything. Unless they get to 2.5 kilometer range, if that. Holy shit, the reloads is 7 seconds? <laughs> okay, I like this. 7 second reload on a 9 inch gun. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that's a bit much. Let's go. Here we go. One versus 99. The enemy is somewhere to the north. And since the Gulois can only do 16 knots, and those torpedo boats probably cannot do a whole lot more, it might take me a while to actually get into range. Okay, I think we're getting close because the game is only running at 5 times speed now. I'm going to stop the ship. Could take me a while, unless I reverse engines, but no, actually she slows down pretty well. I have been spotted. Not hard, considering that this is a pretty tall ship. 1890s, you can get what, 0.9 kilometer range on the torpedoes? Something to that effect. 
So I outrange them with the nines by nine kilometers, 6.7 with the casemates, and 7.6 with the Mark II 2.9 inch guns. Okay, we're going to um, boldly stay where we are. Can I just turn? No, the game does not want you to turn unless you have... Ah, propulsion. Hello! Enemy ship spotted. 5.4 clicks out. Torpedo range, 0.9. Yes. I'm glad I got some of these numbers pretty much memorized. There is our first casualty. In case you're wondering, do I have enough ammo? Um, I think so. I have about 36,000 rounds of ammo for the 2.9ers. The double barrels. So that ought to be sufficient. That's one down. Those sawed off 9.9s look so weird. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Go on. Start sinking these before they torpedo your ass. Which they will. If given the opportunity, they will. Range, 3.9. We need to massacre them faster. Why are the mains not firing? Is there a particular reason for that? Because they do have accuracy. I don't get it. Ah, oh, there we go. Now the mains are firing. 4% chance to hit at 3.5 km range. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'm surprised it's taking this much ammunition to deal with one little threat. Oh shit, they already destroyed a secondary? Okay. So it's two down, three down. You're dead. Four down. Come on. Still keeping them at range pretty well. Still holding at more than two kilometer range. They're not a threat. Five down. Target the Orwell. Six down. I wonder who's going to be able to get this done the fastest. Seven. Now I have a bit of a firing angle issue because most of my guns aren't actually doing anything. This is going to cost me time. Uh, shoot this instead. There we go. Leopard's down. That's what, seven or eight? Already lost track. Uh, contest. Could you not? You're getting a little close there, my friend. You're almost within torpedo range. I don't like that. There we go. Stopped. Dead. Next. Lightning. This still gives me the starboard uh, guns to be able to use. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not able to armor up the 2.9. So if they shoot back with their threes then I will lose guns, so be it. This is getting too close. Sylvia. Go away, Sylvia. I am losing some secondaries here and there. Go away. That's another one. Eleven. Have the nines done anything? No, they haven't. Exactly as I was expecting. The nine-inch guns are just not what you need in this kind of a fight. Once again, the AI is just not using their ships the way they should, because they should just all charge me. That would make it very difficult for me to survive, as the enemy just overwhelms me with torpedo spam. That's how I would play it. Not like this. Not go in one at a time, and then not even get into torpedo range. That's a waste of opportunity. 
Like these guys, they're, I can just safely ignore them. The only thing they might be able to do is shoot me with a 3.1. And that's not ter terribly scary. So I'm not particularly worried. Lively. Switch to the tiger. This thing might flood all by itself. Maximum bulkheads. Wow. Okay. That's dead. That'll flood. Zephyr will flood. Wizard. <clears throat> I'm going to try and switch target to target a bit faster. If I suspect that something will die. Because then I can get my time up. Or down, depending on how you want to look at it. Lynx. Should be dead. Handy. Yeah, abuse that mechanic. Beautiful. Wizard took a bit more fire. Target the Myrmidon. We've spent about 5,000 shells so far. Of the, the 2.9 double barrels, that is. Target locusts. Anything getting close? No. No, we're fine. The star is getting a bit close. The 9-inch have actually hit one shot. The 2.9ers have hit 384. Dead. 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 That was a 9-inch shell. Yeah. Dead. Locust. Dead. Vulture. What is it with all the plagues? Dead. The guy in the back. Not dead. Do it again. <laughs> and it just immediately starts sinking. Gone. Gone. Get him. Hold up. The crane's getting a bit close here. Kill that. Ooh, no prisoners. Done. Next, Myrmidon. Nice and slow. There is one little caveat that I do see with this task. Which is if the AI decides that they want to flee, there's nothing I can do. Because the orders say, once you have encountered the enemy, you are not allowed to move. So if they run... That's unfortunate. Go to times five. So far we spent about 40 minutes taking down an unknown number of ships. And we've dwindled the numbers a bit, but they still got a lot of different divisions out there. Where are they? Is my question. Where are they? This guy's proving a bit more difficult to hit. He's quite far away. One and a half percent chance. How many did I lose? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Starboard side is looking a bit bad. Hmm. Are you waiting until I run out of ammo or something? Is that the deal? Come on. Thank you.
And here we are, at the end of the line. I have lost one ship, and they have lost 80. So my score is 80 points. Let's see how the other guys did. We'll check out the links down below in the description. It is going to lead you to Brother Monroe and Spartan Elite. And you're going to see how well they did, and what sort of ship they designed. Hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more videos.